Hello, my name is Kenson from Kenson AV, and welcome to a short overview of my current home cinema setup. Start with the TV, that's a Sony 55 inch HX 923 LCD TV uh, with local dimming, Sony Edgelet. Absolutely love that TV, great picture. Um, I've loved owning it. Not quite ready to go to 4K just yet. Um, impending house move, get that out of the way, and then hopefully we'll be able to start. Move on to the speakers. Towers are the Tangent Evo E34. These have been really great speakers. Really great speakers. Um, beautiful looking, great sounding. They've done the job admirably for me. If you look, we've got the center speaker. Second tower. With the Tangent Evo center speaker. Sorry about that grill, I can't actually clean it because it's made out of wood so I need to order a new one as uh, my children have destroyed that one so my sensor speaker is the Tangent Evo E5C and my side surrounds which are basically the same speaker flipped lengthwise are the E5Ls My surround backs are the bookshelf speakers, the Tangent Evo E5s. All great speakers, great sounding. I've done a really good job for me in this cinema. Under the TV, on the TV stand, we have the Sky Q 2TB box. Yeah, it's been a great upgrade from Sky HD. Uh, They've done some great work on the user interface. Still some work to go with it, but I'm happy with it as a as an upgrade. Move along to my Blu-ray player, which is the Sony BDP S760. It's an old player. It's probably on its last legs. Um, I'm looking up upgrading to the Sony media player for now and then moving on um, might hang on see if Sony can actually make a decent 4k player at a the minute there they're just screwing it up yeah um, I've got a lot of Sony kit but uh, of late they've been falling behind over manufacturers moving on we have the PlayStation 3 it doesn't get a lot of use nowadays um, could be upgrading to a PS4 at some point but it's, it's there it's my, my player my day one next up we have my AV receiver which is the Sony STR DA fifty three hundred ES, uh, one of the first with easy decoding of the high definition audio codex, uh, native decoding rather than um, putting out PCM. I've, I've had this for a number of years. I really loved the ES line. But the only thing, the only thing it was missing was um, like a more comprehensive uh, room correction system. Uh, it would have done a lot better, in my opinion, if it had had something like uh, the Odyssey. 
but other than that, it's been great. Revelation, first time I've put on a Blu-ray, played it through. The difference in sound quality between the high definition audio codecs versus Dolby Digital, especially with live concerts, live music. Um, it was a revelation. I've, I've loved every minute of my home audio video experience since purchasing this, this receiver. On top there's a Marant CD player which it's almost out of out of habit that I I keep keep with these C D players. I do have a lot of C D players, I still buy CDs, so the easiest way to bring it home, listen to it, is through the C D player. So that pretty much rounds up the overview of my home cinema system. For those who are interested, cables, um, got a few QED, Quinax, old cables, uh, QED, opticals, also visual, and that cable for HDMI cables as well. I also have Chromecast and Chromecast Audio uh, tucked away, hidden away behind behind the receiver. Just thought I'd get that in, and also behind the TV, there's a PC, HTPC for for Plex when I want to watch Blu-rays in full Blu-ray quality I, I, it's just easier to use the HTPC uh, if I'm okay having them downgraded the bitrate downgraded I'll watch through the Chromecast Chromecast has improved quite a lot recently so I'm okay doing that on occasion movies I've seen a few times yeah hope you uh, like the overview of my system any questions put them in the comments and I will be sure to do my best to answer.